Well, everyone, we have some awesome news. Randomly, Apple finally found a way many, many years later to actually fix Face ID and repair Face ID in general without replacing the entire iPhone, or at least without replacing the entire display on the front. At least that's what we've seen before. Now, weirdly enough, I'm just going to get this out of the way. It says it only supports the iPhone XS and newer. I, which is crazy. I'm going to make a separate video talking about that. This is all positive vibes right now. But essentially, if what this article from Mac Rumor states, Apple will soon offer Face ID repairs without replacing the entire iPhone. So it says Apple stores and Apple authorized service providers will soon be able to repair Face ID on the iPhone XS and newer without having to replace the whole device, according to internal memos and all this other stuff. So it says that it will soon be able to actually access to a new True Depth camera service part, which contains all the face id and front camera modules so it looks like they can actually just repair that specific front module from before i think you know they that from before i think they actually tied the display to that face id module and now i guess that's not going to be the case now here's the thing right I don't understand why this was found out so much later because Apple pretty much designed this whole entire phone as far as I can tell. So it's almost like they spent many, many years trying to fix something that they had created many years ago. That's something I don't really understand. Like if you make this phone, why did it take this long to find out how to fix this? If you were the ones who made this phone, I would understand if it was somebody else making this phone. But if you're, if it's your device, you know, I don't really understand that. Another thing is for those of you who don't remember with a lot of those touch ID iPhones, Phones, for example, the iPhone 6 and 6S, you were actually able to replace that front display and everything, and you would still be able to use that home button as long as that, and, and Touch ID as well, as long as that motherboard was the same as that Touch ID sensor. So if you literally just replace that display, unfortunately, Touch ID may not work anymore. Or if you replace that home button, Touch ID may not work either. But weirdly enough, with the iPhone 7, 8, and I think the iPhone SE second generation, all the other iPhones after that basically, if you replace that display with a third party display or even another genuine Apple display, that specific home button would not work anymore. You couldn't click it in, you couldn't use Touch ID, anything. It was like just not even a display. It was like not even a home button anymore, which was crazy. So it's almost like Apple creates these issues in the first place and then they I guess they come out many years later and they can find a way to fix this for some reason. I don't even know why it took them this long to figure this out if it's their issue they put in the first place but I think this is great. It is pretty crazy to see how expensive Face ID repairs are because again you have to pretty much repair the whole entire phone and now it looks like that is not going to be the case. So I think this is great news. I hope. I am excited to see how expensive and how cheap it is to repair these iPhones and you know we should be able to fix these things by ourselves now once Apple, you know, pushes out that repair guide. So that pretty much covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.